So, um, I was looking at my local area, and I, you know, it's like I'm, we're broke as fuck, so, you know, in order to get to filming locations, especially in the woods, we would need electric car charger stations, because, you know, if everybody's going to have Teslas and Leafs around where I am, this is insane that they have no charger stations except at their houses and at a few grocery store locations around in specific spots. We need Leaf charger stations, you know, because every other car uses those, not Teslas. And there's more Leafs than there are Teslas. Every They're way cheaper. So, on the way up to, because, you know, in Idaho, this is where we are. Uh, there's a road that goes into the mountains up toward McCall. And so at every gas station along that road, all the way to the point where the, the road uh, switches over and goes up, to, you know, past in a different direction, right there, there's a uh, giant spot where you work. What is that called? Is that called Bend? No. Or, no, what is that called? Anyways, it doesn't matter, but highways meet at a certain point, and often along those points, they'll put in, like, orange... Big work trucks, you know, with plow trucks and all of that, you know. So why shouldn't there just be, because they have a lot of electricity running to those areas, just little electric stations put in outside of the, you know, they have a chain link fence around there so people don't go in there and spray paint the equipment or something. But you can just put chargers outside of those fences there with some little bit of pavement there for people to just pull in and charge. Yeah, and then on the way up to McCall, we could have McCall actually, you know, be the liberal area it's supposed to be. Yeah, because... what happened to our gaming cafe? Yeah, th that you know, disappeared suddenly. It's no longer there. Dude, also, when I went to um, L.A. in 2004 with the strawberry money I earned by selling strawberries to everyone in the, in the whole valley, both valleys, I went everywhere. So, so anyways, our point is I'm the best entrepreneur in the world because I came back and then sold them curb number paintings and stuff because I'm the best. But the point here is um, there was a gaming cafe there up in the mountains above L.A. where no one wanted to live. There's all these supposed rich people back then living above L.A. over towards Hollywood. But that was a crap area where we were over there. It's up above the smog. It's like a mile up, it feels like, on a mountaintop with pines. It's a completely different universe with, like, everything's green and luscious. There was a gaming cafe. And it was just like a community of, like, 20 houses. And nobody else lived over there. And there was no reason. They're just losers. Yeah, I look up gaming cafes in the western all United States. You have to go like all the way to the coast and there's like one that's like newly been put in right no. now and there's like stuff like in what, Washington? But cultist communities will put in, they'll have like a shed with some old computers in it and your internet running to it that's just like out of somebody's cable box and they call that a gaming cafe in Oregon. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's just going to like an indoor like area where you have a storefront shop in those old downtown like 70s areas. And they just like put in some new panels up top and a new carpet, and they just got some desks in there. Ooh, it's fancy, let me tell you. Um, anyways, like I was saying, yeah, we you need an electric car charger route with fast charging, the really fast for Leafs and stuff, up to McCall and in McCall, so that people can enjoy actually going up there and appreciating the environment. <laughs> 